Hey guys, how's it going? This is Michael. This is Kyle. And this is our first look at the Nintendo. I, don't, I actually don't know what it's called because I have I don't know anything about this one yet. I know what it was called, the Nexus or the NX rather. The uh, Nexus. <laughs> Nexus. That that's from? that's a it's a it's a scientific group. Don't worry about it. It's okay. a, it's a meeting. So, it's a conference. So you guys, you, I mean, you guys all saw my reaction. I recorded it the morning that this came out. Michael just now got a chance to uh, record his reaction. Um, we, he hasn't, he's been staying away from the internet the whole time. He hasn't seen yeah. anything about this. Doesn't know anything about it at all. Um, what do you know about project NX though? So we heard about it a year and a half ago. Is there anything you know about Nintendo's next console that's been like leaked or revealed so far? Uh, what or I know about, what I know about NX is that, uh, not much. I know there's that leaked photo which I believe ended up being not a real leaked photo. Oh, you're talking about the uh, controller with the sc the the warped screen, the, the yep, in the middle. Yep. Yeah, that, that that ended up being fake. So that's yeah. is, is that really the last thing you've seen that, on it? That, that's literally the last thing I know, other than the fact that man, this thing better save Nintendo. This be better be really good. Yeah. Because Nintendo's really gone if this isn't. <laughs> you, you you really think so? Okay, so I mean, oh that, yeah, that's kind of true. So. We'll judge by your reaction whether you think this console has a uh, has legs or not to to save Nintendo. But um, so we we've seen that there's been a decline of home consoles throughout yeah. you know throughout everything except for the Wii, right? Which was an anomaly, which sold a hundred million you know over yeah the Wii and then and then the Wii U sold ten million ten percent it's, it's at twelve million yeah right now okay twelve million ten percent. Right. 12, you know, 10%, 8% of what the yeah. uh, the Wii sold, and so. The, the, the Wii had, or the Wii U just had branding problems, had marketing problems. I mean, the Wii U didn't even, even people at the time didn't even realize that was the next console. They thought that the gamepad was just an add-on for the Wii or yeah. something like that. Yeah. Um, and plus, you know, it looked like a toy. You know, it, it wasn't yeah, very. It was, it was not very good. So, um, yeah. Yeah, let's check this out, though. I'm excited to see this one. All right. So, Michael, we will get your reactions for this one. I'm really excited to see what you think about this and if this is something that you will be picking up and playing. Uh, you know, I, I, like I said in my last video, you don't get this very often. You get a brand new co Nintendo console review once every five years, so you won't be doing this again for five more years, assuming this saves Nintendo, according to you. Well, let's go ahead and uh, let's check it out then. All right. Oh, looks like we're playing Zelda. Oh, is he just scratching himself there? <laughs> That's what I thought. Was <laughs> yep, neglecting animals. This is what happens when you get. Uh... Oh, cool! Whoa, what? What the heck? Can I see that again? Yeah, we, uh, we'll go back and look at it some more, but yeah, just watch the trailer out first. Um, you, you can talk all you want, by the way. There, there, there's no audio or anything in this. It's just straight up a, a trailer. What the heck? So this is just how to how, how, how you go around with it? So it's like a, okay. Okay, so this one obviously you don't need the. Uh, it's not like the gamepad where you need to be uh, tethered to the Wii. Yeah. Wii. Oh, uh, so you can. Oh, what the heck! He took off the controls and started doing it with both hands. So if, huh. you'll notice, if you'll notice what game he's playing right here too. Uh, Skyrim. Yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm love. I'm so digging your reaction right now. By the way. What are they gonna do with people playing? Play. <laughs> no, you're gonna play. You're gonna play basketball while you're on the court. <laughs> Playing basketball. <laughs> that's what. That's what a lot of people were saying. But they, they put two of them back together and played local multiplayer with two screens. Wow, that's cool. Wow! 
There's our San Francisco rooftop party. All right, everyone's having a rooftop party right now. So take your game on the go. Every time I see this, this commercial again. That's cool. If you've noticed, it comes out in March. So guess what I'm getting you for your birthday? Yeah, no kidding. Okay, Michael. <laughs> is this the console that saves Nintendo? Uh, honestly, I think this is going to do for Nintendo what the Wii you did for no, Nintendo. Oh, you don't you don't think this is going anywhere, huh? I think it's really cool. Um I think it's I think it's awesome. I think it's an awesome, you know, but Concept. practical wise, practicality dictates. I mean, with the way our gamers are right now, the people that are spending this much money on on video games, like this isn't like I don't know, like it's really cool, but I don't think this is your market like so how, okay. how, how so, I don't think this is. I don't think there's a. I don't think there's a niche market for this. I don't. I don't. How many people are going to be using this? So okay. So here's the thing. While you were right that the Wii U was a failure, one of, and and this might not be an angle you thought about this from. The success that Nintendo has always had has been in handhelds. Game Boy, the yeah. DS. No, the very 3DS. true. Very true. They this, own. They they pretty much own. You know, PlayStation got in there for a second with PlayStation Vita. Uh, but the Nintendo owns the handheld market, game yeah. console. V Vita got stomped out pretty quickly by the Nintendo handheld. So that's what they do. Now, Nintendo's console market has not been doing so well. It's been no. obviously trending down. Um, you know, again, with the exception of the Wii, which was just an anomaly for the most part. But their strategy now is there's no 3DS. There's no more DS coming out. They've merged their handheld and their console into one device. So yeah. any so all of these guys who had um, who had uh, you know bought a 3DS or bought a DS and like to play those games on the go, whap, the, whap, whap, you're 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 playing now with console power behind that. It's yeah. not it's not like these you know these watered down experiences on a handheld now. You're now playing a console power. You know you have console power in you know and and, and the whole nuts and bolts and chips of the system are inside that gamepad and then you dock it to the thing right yeah. and but the the the, the, the I just screen. I mean okay what made what made Nintendo so great in the first place what does Nintendo have that PlayStation and really Xbox do not have what do they excel at when when the other two consoles lack their own individual IPs I'm guessing uh no but well, what yes, they what they, what what they excel what they excel at is a local multiplayer platform it's okay. a local multiplayer games you got super smash you got double dash you got uh, a billion other games that are fantastic you said double dash but you mean the mario kart series mario kart series yes okay but you have you have really good local multiplayer games, and that's what you're going to want. Not every parent wants to hook their kid up to the internet so they can play online locally with other people. Well, Your niche market is the local multiplayer so, market. So so why is it? So then how come, like, I take a gamepad and you take one of those gamepads. Now, we're calling them gamepads. I'm pretty sure that's not what their actual name is. In fact, those little controllers are called Joy-Con controllers, joystick controllers, Joy-Cons. That's, that's what they call them. That's their official name or whatever. But Fair you know, enough. but you saw in the basketball thing, you're talking about local multiplayer. Uh, 
two of them back to back. Like I'm, I have my own vision. You have your own screen and they're right next back to each other. Or in the Mario Kart example, they took off each of the controllers and each of the controllers turned sideways to become a, a number one and a number two controller. And you could play Mario Kart split screen on that pad in the car. Yeah, but those are those are halfway baked controllers though. They look like they're not necessarily okay. that's, that's, full okay, so, on game console controllers. Okay, but you did see a game console controller in that video. You did see the, yeah. the, pro, the pro controller. You know, so so they did make a controller that did keep the traditional gamer in mind through that video. I don't know. I just, I mean, I, I feel like this this game, this this uh, system is not. I'm really mad because I feel like it's not marketed to me. It's not marketed toward me. It's marketed toward. Well, what types of know, games do you play? So so basically. Well, hold on. Let, let me finish my thought. Okay, go ahead. It's marketed toward. It's marketed toward preteens essentially. It's marketed toward teenagers. Um, these guys are grabbing these games. Like I, I have a few, some of my, uh, friends, little brothers, uh, are just completely involved in this world. And if they could, they'd be playing their games 24 seven and they would be bringing the consoles with them everywhere they go. Me and my generation or me at this age, I'm not, I'm not about that. I'm not. So I'm, that's why I'm mad that it's not marketed toward me. Cause I enjoy the multiplayer aspect of it. I enjoy, Hey, everybody come on over and let's play some super smash, you know, on this brand new console, awesome so, screen. So, and, and, and they're marketing toward the younger crowd. That's just ADHD and has to stick on their uh, so, game console. I'm going to completely dispute that right now and disagree with that because <clears throat> Nintendo has always been known as a kid's console. You know, basically, like they, they develop for kids. It's like a, kid, it's yeah. a kid's machine. Oh, yeah. What did you not see in that trailer? Not a single child. There was not a kid in that trailer. It was all about the young adults, the guys who grew up <clears throat> with Nintendo who are now 20 and 30 years old, and now they are the ones who are consuming Nintendo products. You saw... A, a guy in his own apartment playing Breath of the Wild on the couch. You saw yeah. guys playing pickup basketball, play the game. You saw a girl, you know, uh, you saw the, the young lady on playing the new Mario game, which we can even talk about that. The, we just saw a new Mario game, a new 3D Mario game. Yeah. But um, she was playing the new Mario game and, and brought it over with other young adults. This There was no kids in that trailer. And now, yeah, okay. They didn't mention at all, you know, and not to mention at the very end of that, there was esports, right? They had like the whole, they had like a whole like arena, and Nintendo hates the whole esports place, but now it looks like they're sort of embracing it. Yeah. Um, and there, there's the whole like competition, like, hey, let's go to Evo and, and let's go play these games, let's let's go to you know, all these different esports, um, and you know, and and there looks like they're getting into that. So, I disagree with you when you say that this specific market is marketed for kids. This one was this, at least this trailer was said this is not the Wii U this is not a toy it looks sleek it's very you know it's very cool it's very stylish it's <clears throat> black it's got that matte black it's not white like the Wii and the Wii U you know it's yeah. it's, it's, <clears throat> it's 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 got a very apple like approach to this this game thing so now it's for, forget like our our handheld stuff and forget our our console stuff you all of your games and everything you don't have to buy two Nintendo systems to play all your different games you buy one device and here is all the different games you could play on home and and or at home and on the go when, when if you if you don't want to leave that experience and like you said there's kids out there who would be playing or not just kids but there's people who would be playing games every chance they can get and yeah. you know look, look forward to ending the day at work or ending the day at school and going to home to play a, a you know a console game but to be able to take this with you you know that that's a huge step and i think an innovation and i think the direction nintendo had to go cuz now they're offering something that their competitors can't the 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 specs of this thing are probably going to be about as powerful, maybe a little less powerful than the PlayStation 4, probably right around where the Xbox One is. Because, again, I know that, that Xbox and PlayStation are coming out with their new consoles, you know, their, their half-step generation consoles, you know, their upgrade yeah. consoles or whatever, the Pro yeah. and the Scorpio. Um, but you're talking about a portable, ex a portable console experience. That like we have that hasn't been seen before, and and if you're talking about like people play their mobile games all the time now, right? And they're always on their phones, and like you see that with Pokemon Go and all this kind of thing. They're, yeah, they're they're playing all these games now. Your phone is not optimized to be a gaming machine. It is a terrible gaming machine. You know, you're you're tapping a screen the whole time for anything you want to do. This is the ultimate portable gaming machine. It's got the <clears> graphics. <throat> it has the physical tactile buttons that you can remove, turn into a tablet. You can play it like, I mean, you, you could have any sort of experience anywhere you want. Do you want a handheld experience? Slide the Joy-Con controllers in the thing and have a, a, a you know, an on-the-go regular handheld experience. Or if you're on the go, take the controllers out, 
put them inside that little docking station so you can have like a, a regular controller and just stand kickstand the screen up and you have like a pretty much a portable home console experience wherever you want to go i think yeah. the fact that it's a switch that you can switch between all these different types of gameplay methods i think i and the internet mostly you know the the reaction from this is mostly is pretty much positive it's been all positive so far well the console itself is the console itself is really good it's very sleek it's really nice looking i don't know i'm just finding i'm just having a hard time imagining that you know this is the thing that's gonna bring nintendo back i'm having a hard time imagining that there's such a big niche out there that nintendo's already exploited how many other companies have already exploited this mobile gaming niche I mean, this isn't this isn't Hold anything. This isn't anything new here. So, like, my my thing is, well, what do they stand to gain? So, you look at play things like the Xbox One. You look at like the PS4. What what are they doing? They're they're not expanding into a mobile demographic, which you know, there's probably a reason for that. What they're doing is they're taking all of your uh, like live stream, all of your Netflix, all of your games, all of your iTunes, getting everything into one console. Xbox One, putting it into one console, that way you're running everything along the same thing. I think that is where the new niche is, even though that's starting to be hit right now. I think the mobile platform game market, the mobile platform gaming, that's a niche that's already been exploited, and you know what? There's not that much niche there, which is why Nintendo's going down, and why Sony, that's why PlayStation and Xbox aren't touching it anymore. Well, okay, but then, <clears throat> but then can't you say that Nintendo's goal is to upgrade those, those mobile gamers? Because... There's, there's not a, many of them out there. There's, there's not too there's many of them out there. 500 you know, we million got, people downloaded Pokemon Go. Okay, that's on your phone. People. Okay, that is a multi that is a multi use tool platform. device. Sure, you're using you're using it for text. You're using it for phone. You're using it for everything else. Why would you now? Honestly, be honest with me. Would you if you had the option to? Would you keep your phone on you and a complete separate gaming console just for gaming in your pocket at all times, like you do with your phone? No, I, I would Exactly. But, and that's the market that Nintendo is trying to hit. And but, I'm sorry, I'm not going to go around everywhere with a big old screen okay. that's dedicated just for gaming. It's, it's, but it's not, it's not like a 3DS that it fits in your pocket. You go when you want to play a game. So suppose a, a Zelda comes out and you want to play through that game and you're excited to play through that game, so you take it on the go whenever you go. And then maybe for a month or two, no other game comes out. You don't bring that thing with you. You only have it as a home console. You know, it's not something you constantly keep in your pocket all the time. You keep this thing in your... It's like a tablet or a computer. You, you, if, whenever you want to bring those around, you keep it in a backpack, and that's when you do it. If you go on a trip, on a plane trip, this is when you bring the console. If you're going to be on the road for three hours, going to Pajaro Beach like we do every year, you're going to be taking this thing with you, and that's going to be your on-the-go game console to make those things. If this is like for a travel device and things like that, or so, so, for, say like you just don't, you're tired of playing video games in your apartment. Let's just go out into the park and go play this. You know, let's go play a Zelda game. Let's go play a Mario game or something like that. Or you have a billion phone uh, games on your phone that you can. But get. those are not deep, rich experiences that Nintendo can offer. The like the 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 phone games are so shallow, and I think Nintendo what they're trying to do is like there's apparently a mass market out there for mobile for people who want to play mobile games, but let's upgrade those some of those people into playing more hardcore, you know, more more intuitive, more deep, richer experiences in video games. I think there is a market for that, and I think especially because the 3DS sold so well, 60 million units or whatever, and the DS was 150 million units when that came out. There is a market for mobile gaming that's deeper than your mobile phone. Or I'm, I'm on the go gaming more than your mobile phone. And I think Nintendo has a product here that will give you a richer, deeper mobile experience as opposed to the shallow sort of niche you get on the app store, right? And we'll upgrade those gamers into a better, uh, and we'll upgrade them into a more, you know, a more gaming type culture. I think, I mean, again, I think it's a really cool system. I just, I just don't see what they did here. And it's a shame because obviously they put a lot of thought, a lot of design, a lot of characteristics, a lot of mobile movement into the system. I just, I don't see it beating out the original Wii U. I see it doing, I mean, the original Wii. I do see it beating out the Wii U. Uh, my guess is within a year, this thing is going to get, um, I don't know, 40, 40 million units. 
I think I think it's wait, gonna wait, do wait, with, within a year. That's like ridiculous. That's like insanely like record breaking. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I didn't mean I didn't mean within a year. But within its life, it would be it would in, be in today. Its lifetime. So so, so it, it like this is gonna be a comparison thing. So you have uh the the Wii U send it, the Wii selling what 110, and then you have the Wii U selling the uh, just 10 or 12. Well, I think this thing's going to do a few times better than the Wii U, uh, but not quite as good as the Wii. I don't think it's that revolutionary. I think this is something that's already been stomped on before uh, by other game co- by by other game game consoles, especially I, themselves. They've already tapped this market. You, they themselves have tapped this market already. You, I, I just I feel like you you so underestimate the power of some of these games, like the power of a Pokemon game that literally just sells units. The power of a, of launching with a Zelda game that just sells units. I mean. The, the the last time uh, a Nintendo console launched with a Zelda game was the Wii and Twilight Princess, and that sold a hundred million units in its lifetime. I'm just saying, and and this and this this Zelda one. I mean, we did a whole video on the Zelda thing by itself. That was really really impressive. Okay, so and there's a few things that the uh, this trailer didn't touch on because they wanted to keep it like this is about games and this is about gaming on the go and having a home console experience. But the uh, the, the detachable controllers supposedly yeah. are are motion controlled, so those are motion controls. Okay, there you go. See, that's something added new to it. You know, that's something that that's an added new element. Okay, I mean so, not okay. new, it's, but it's new for it's a this. control. It's, it's a way, new for mobile gaming. Well, I, I would I would say okay, so okay, sh- okay, sure. Uh, the motion controls mobile gaming. Um, the the screen is also a touch screen. They, I mean, you didn't see him touch the screen at all, but supposedly it's also it's a it's screen a, like is a I, touch screen. It's it's also it seems like it's going to be a, a lo, it can be a local multiplayer pick it up and go type of thing yep. too. Yep. Um. So that that'll and be could, really and, cool. So and so, but now now imagine remember your, your base console is the screen itself, right? And the dock is just is is something else. So I could take my screen console over to your house on your dock and dock with it. And you yeah. have my, my games and, and you know everything set up and then and then like let's say you want to show me one of your games you take yours off I take mine off and you dock your console on there and yeah, now and now we're playing it's just like an image image projector type yeah, of thing. Okay, sure exactly and in an upscale so the other thing is is d- does the dock have processing power because if it does if you want to get better graphics like on cart on things in the future you could just instead of making a whole new console you could just make a new dock for a hundred dollars say hey this dock is the 4K uh, dock, and if you want to upscale Adapter. your games into 4K, and it's only a hundred bucks instead of making a brand new console, into you know, so I, I think there's a little bit of future proofing in this in this concept and everything. So yeah, I, I just I I, I I I would have to disagree. I mean, again, only time will tell. But I actually think that they have a hit on their hands here by combining both the mobile market and the other market. So now your next Pokemon game isn't going to be one of those top down. Look at it from the top, you know, with 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 you know very little power behind yeah. it. Yeah, if you're finally gonna get a home console Pokemon game, which has never happened before, so you know you're you're. I mean, and that right there is gonna sell. People have been clamoring for a, a Pokemon MMO. Like, how great would a Pokemon MMO be, right, or something like that? And so uh, you're just, you're you're gonna get so many crazy experiences with this, and the fact that you can take it wherever you are now, uh, is I, I just I think is is pretty insane, pretty revolutionary. And pretty forward thinking on Nintendo, but it's it's funny it's funny to hear your opinion. But I mean, we'll see. Like 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 we'll see if I. Uh, I mean, yeah. only time will tell. This this it comes out in March, so March two thousand seventeen, probably early March. So. Well, yeah. if there's one thing we can agree to, as I think we can both agree that it looks really sleek. Uh, it's really nice. Obviously, well designed. Uh, my issue could be that it's longevity in the marketplace, but Kyle seems to think that, you know, there is a place for it after all. Um, anyway, thanks guys so much for watching. One final Uh, question. Okay. One final question. Here we go. The the one that that'll end all this. Are you going to get it? I personally am probably not going to get this. I will get a VR headset from PS4 before I will get this. Really? Because I have been in those VR headsets before, and they okay, are agreed. freaking amazing. <laughs> okay, agreed, agreed. I mean, you and you both had very little hands-on time with it, but it they, yeah. it was amazing for what for what we had. Um, okay, interesting. That's very very. Are you are you are you getting this one? I'm camping out overnight at a Target to get this. Are thing. you? Oh, <laughs> just like you yeah. did for the Wii, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Well, I well I did that as a Christmas family present. Hopefully, yeah. the fact that this comes out in March and not for the holiday, which I think is. 
I, I think they tried their very best to get this out for the holiday season because, you know, obviously it's the holiday. You want the big... Obviously, you want to try to get it out for the holiday season. Um, I, I, I think in order to get all the games ready for it and everything, they had to push it back a few months. And which, I is think, gonna, which is going to hurt them on sales, by the way. That's going to hurt them. I'm not sure because, I mean, what else is coming out in March? Like, it's just going to be all them, and they're going to have that whole thing. They're Everybody gonna spend their money in March. Hey, I've been in a business where you need to, where you, where pe- I've been in a business uh, during March time. During March, people have taxes. You don't spend money during tax season. Also, during March, you just spend all your money on Christmas gifts and f- traveling for the holidays. You don't spend money early. Businesses hurt January, February, and it starts to pick up in March. So having them bring it out in March is, eh, it's going to hurt them a little bit. I'm yeah okay i mean sure sure maybe but that means the next holiday season they could re-promote it as like hey we're you know get the Nintendo well out. that's another thing too they can they can put something out they can push something out with it and be like hey you know you get this along with a bundle uh if well you guys, the other question was get this. what do you think of the name the switch i think it's appropriate yeah. i think you get to switch what you get to do i mean it's just like the xbox one i mean it's a simple switch name and yeah you know and, and it describes gotta, the console you know, yeah, and, and, switch, and, t- switch TM, and, baby. Yeah, and everybody else was like, well, at least they didn't brand it with the Wii name. At least there's no Wii yeah. on it. So Nintendo Switch. I like that. But and anyway, the guys. Console. Exactly. No, I like the console. I just don't like the idea of it. <laughs> <laughs> um anyway guys thanks for listening thanks for watching as always subscribe down at the bottom uh we're gonna be coming out with a lot more videos a lot more uh game tech videos as well uh make sure you like subscribe also comment on our videos too whatever you guys like to see whatever you guys want to see uh going on here uh let us know we'll enjoy the feedback and we'll go ahead and do some video trailers based on your suggestions uh thank you guys so much again and as always this is michael this is kyle and this has been a critique on the universe of gaming